President Abbas, stop walking around this issue. Recognize the Jewish state and make peace with us. In such a genuine peace, Israel is prepared to make painful compromises. We believe that the Palestinians should be neither the citizens of Israel nor its subjects. They should live in a free state of their own, but they should be ready, like us, for compromise. And we will know that they're ready for compromise and for peace when they start taking Israel's security requirements seriously and when they stop denying our historical connection to our ancient homeland. I often hear them accuse Israel of uh, Judaizing Jerusalem. That's like accusing America of Americanizing Washington or the British of anglicizing London. You know why we're called Jews? Because we come from Judea. In my office in Jerusalem, there's, a, there's an ancient seal. It's a, a signet ring of a Jewish official from the time of the Bible. The seal was found right next to the Western Wall, and it dates back 2,700 years to the time of King Hezekiah. Now, there's a name of the Jewish official inscribed on the ring in Hebrew. His name was Netanyahu. That's my last name. My first name, Benjamin, dates back a 1,000 years earlier to Benjamin, Binyamin the son of Jacob, who was also known as Israel. Jacob and his 12 sons roamed these same hills of Judea and Samaria 4,000 years ago. And there's been a continuous Jewish presence in the land ever since. And for those Jews who were exiled from our land, they never stopped dreaming of coming back. Jews in Spain on the eve of their expulsion Jews in the Ukraine fleeing the pogroms, Jews fighting the Warsaw Ghetto as the Nazis were circling around them. They never stopped praying. They never stopped yearning. They whispered, next year in Jerusalem, next year in the Promised Land. As the Prime Minister of Israel, I speak for a hundred generations of Jews who were dispersed throughout the lands, who suffered every evil under the sun, but who never gave up hope of restoring their national life in the one and only Jewish state. Ladies and gentlemen, I continue to hope that President Abbas will be my partner in peace. I've worked hard to advance that peace. The day I came into office, I called for direct negotiations without preconditions. President Abbas didn't respond. I outlined a vision of peace of two states for two peoples. He still didn't respond. I removed hundreds of roadblocks and checkpoints to ease freedom of movement in the Palestinian areas. This facilitated a fantastic growth in the Palestinian economy. But again, no response. I took the unprecedented step of freezing new buildings in the settlements for 10 months. No prime minister did that before, ever. Once again, you applaud, but there was no response. 